What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys 5 audio tips for all high school filmmakers. So let's get started. Alright, so tip number one is have a boom person if possible. Basically, if you're going to be filming a movie and you attach the little boom mic on your camera, it's not going to sound as good as if you had someone hold the boom pole right next to the guy that's like your actor that's talking because the closer the mic is to the face, the better the audio is going to sound. If it's far away, it's not going to be as good if it's like right next to his face, right? So make sure you have a boom guy if you can. Alright, so tip number two is make sure you find good locations for sound. So don't try to film, like if you don't have to, like don't try to film at a place where there's like a bunch of cars, you know, a bunch of like noise and machinery, super loud, because no matter how good your mic is, it's still going to sound like crap because all the background noise, right? So try to find a place that is somewhat quiet. Like when I was filming the reunion, I was filming at a neighborhood, and like, you know, I didn't really think about that, but like when I was editing in post, I was like, dang, that's a lot of car noises, and it's really hard to edit that out. So, you know, make sure you find a good spot. Tip number three is use a dead cat. So basically, when I was filming the first day, I got this, you know, audio recorder that served as a boom mic, and basically, I took it out of my car, and I gave the boom pole to my friend who put the headphones on, and he was like, uh, you might want to hear this. And I put my the headphones on, and I was like, oh gosh, the audio is horrible, because there was barely any wind, but it was picking up, like, an insane amount of wind on the mic. So after I got a dead cat, all my problems went away. It was The sound was pretty much perfect after that. So make sure you always get a dead cat, because even if there's pretty much no wind, it's still going to sound really loud if you're filming outside. Alright, so tip number four is fix it in post if you have to. So basically what that means is you're obviously going to have a bunch of audio mistakes, so you have to do work on these audio mistakes in post. When you're editing it, you have to fix these audio mistakes if you can't, like, you know, avoid it when you're filming. And just don't think, like, just because, you know, you already filmed it, you can't fix it, because you still can. You can definitely fix it in post. So when you're editing it, spend some time on the audio. Make sure the audio levels are good, make sure, you know, all the cuts are smooth, and make sure, you know, all the audio sounds as good as it can be. And then tip number five is basically perspective matters. What that means is if you're filming your actors from, like, a long distance, don't have the mic right next to their face, because one, you can see that on camera, and two, the dialogue is going to sound like it's super close when the camera is super far, right? So f imagine your audience as the camera. If they're going to be far away and watching something, the audio is going to sound like it's far away. If it's a close-up, then the audio is going to be super close to their face. So depending on the distance from the camera to the actors, it's going to also determine the distance from the boom pull to the actors as well. Alright, so to recap, tip number one, always have a boom person if possible. Tip number two, find good locations to film at. Tip number three is make sure you have a dead cat to you know minimize the wood noise. Tip number four, make sure you fix any audio errors in post. Tip number five is you have to make sure the perspective is bright. So depending on if you're far away or if you're close, the audio has to be far away or close. Anyways, I hope these tips are helpful in your future filmmaking endeavors. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.